Hey you guys, this vlog I am so excited because I have a guest with me. Meg Meeker, Dr. Meg Meeker, I should say, <laughs> is here and she is one of our speakers at our SMART conference and secretly like one of my most favorite people in the whole world. Oh. And you wrote a book called Strong Fathers, Strong Daughters Yes. that we're like personally obsessed with in the Cruz household. Winston read it when I was pregnant with Amelia and oh. he's like rereading it actually. He got oh. your devotional for it. Yes. So like everything Meg says when it comes to parenting is just incredible. So. Thanks for being here. Thank you so much. I love being with you too. It's Thank just so you. much fun. Father's Day is just in a few days. Yep. It's, it's on Sunday. And so I thought you would be the perfect guest to talk about Father's Day Thanks. and how important that fathers are. So give us yeah. just some like insight on this because I feel like it's a subject that a lot of people don't breach. It's not really yeah. talked about as much, yeah. but you are like yeah. a bulldozer in this because you're so good yeah. at this because it's what you do. Well, I'm a bulldozer about dads for one reason. I love kids. And I've learned over 30 years how critical, and I mean critical dads are in the health, the emotional, physical, and spiritual health of their kids. Because there's a, we, we know moms are important. You know, we've talked we about are, women. We <laughs> we've talked about women yes. ad nauseum for 40 years, and yes. we've really pushed dads to the side. Mm -hmm. And now it's time to bring them back into the fold and say, we need to highlight them and we need to shine the spotlight on them because dads are critical for the health of kids. And honestly, my experience living and watching my own husband with our own girls prompted the writing of Strong Fathers, Strong Daughters, which really hit a nerve in the country, as you know. So if there is a woman watching this and she and she has a husband and they have kids, she's like, oh, I want to encourage him. What are, what are, and she sends this video to the dad, like what are three things that dads can do if they feel lost yes. and they're like, I don't, I don't know what to do. Like what are three simple things that, that dads can do in a kid's life to well, really make a big impact? Well, one of the most important parts of the work that I do is I try to teach dads how their kids view them. Mm. Because the way a child views their father is very different than the way a father sees himself and the way his wife may see himself as a dad. For instance, a father needs to be able to put himself behind his child's eyes and understand that a dad is the most important man in any child's life. Because a dad teaches us whether we can accept male love or be afraid of male love. Can we trust men or can we not trust men? Those are lessons we learn before we're two and three years old. Mm -hmm. But what does the research show about how good dads are for, mm -hmm. for their kids? Well, there's a lot. Um, one thing we know is that toddlers who have engaged fathers are better at problem solving. We know that dads who are engaged and spend more time with their kids before they three, those children when they're tested at three test higher on IQ tests wow. than kids who don't spend enough time with their dads. We know that kids who grow up with a father presence, not even a great dad, but a decent dad, yeah. those kids are, when they hit the teen years, are much less likely, statistically significantly less likely to get in, involved in drugs, sex, and alcohol. Wow. So across the board, from a physical standpoint, from an emotional standpoint, psychological standpoint, Point. Intellectual Intellect, standpoint, that's crazy. dads across the board so give key. kids an enormous leg up. One of the best things that we mom can, can do for our children is to help them have a better relationship with their dads. Mm. And there's a lot that you can do to help Amelia have a better relationship with her dad. Absolutely. So, yeah. so simple ways, or I shouldn't say simple, but ways for dads to engage their kids is what? Like asking questions, yep. being there, being present, like what are, what are just- Being available, things? being attentive. Yeah. And, and dads have, as I said before, dads I believe have a leg up over mothers. Because when they're home, dads focus on things more singularly than we do. They don't mm -hmm. focus on the eight things they need to do right now. <laughs> Yeah, they'll yeah. focus on. Okay, I'm going to do this. Multitaskers, and then I'll go do this. <laughs> they're they're sequential taskers. I'm going to go mow the lawn. Then I'm going to chop wood. This is my husband. <laughs> then I'm going to chop my wood. Then I'm going to exercise, and then I'm going to go do something with one of my kids. And when they're on with one of their kids, they're on. Yes. Fathers bond with their children through play and mm. through activities and through recreation. We mothers, if we see our husbands take a child out for a bike ride and then the child comes back, How'd you, did you have fun with dad, did you have fun with dad? And it goes, oh yeah, we had a ball. What you talk about? Oh, we didn't talk. What? Then we go and we give our husband a lecture about the fact that he needs to talk to the child where they're biking. He <laughs> totally, totally, yes. Because that's how we bond. Right, I was gonna say, that's what I get. But guess. that yeah. child comes home my dad is the best dad. He oh. loves me. We had so much fun. Life is good. Okay. Involve them in your day-to-day -day activities. If it's Saturday morning and you're gonna go get the oil changed in your car, ask your daughter to come. 
So and mother's sweet. like, what? Come on. She doesn't want to do that. Maybe she does. Yes. You know why? She just wants to know that her dad yes. wants to be with her. Okay, tell me if this is crazy. Because when I was traveling, uh, Winston texted me a picture of Amelia in a, in a Home Depot shopping cart. And they were at a Home Depot on Saturday morning just yeah. walking around. They didn't really have anything else to do, so they took her to Home Depot. And she was just smiling. And he was like, she, was, she, went, she, was, she went and stopped waving at everyone. Like, she was so happy. Oh, yeah. Do you feel like even with babies, because it's my seasonal life, so I'm being selfish here, but... Even with like a baby as young as like one, they pick it up, obviously, because of what you were just saying about even at three. So babies as a newborn mm -hmm. know the difference between mom and dad. Absolutely, she yes. knows. And yeah. what Amelia knows in that moment, deep in her character, because she'll never remember that moment, is life is good, daddy's safe, this is fun. Mm. That's so it. Good. Oh. Life next to my dad is really good. Now, you just hope that he didn't leave Amelia in the cart in the aisle with the screws in the nails. All <laughs> right, and goes and picks and up. And goes <laughs> and starts looking at Legos. Yeah, that's now, right. He may, but the truth of the matter is she'll probably survive. That's right, that's right. And be fine. Yes. Oh, it's so great. And I love what you do, Meg. You always take, and you joked about it, but it's true. I feel like, and you've said this before, so I'm kind of copying you, but... That as parents, it's like we tend to we tend to worry about things that really, at the end, don't matter. Where we need to look more at the character issues and the character sure. qualities of our children. Yeah. So I love that you look at the bigger picture and how you are so pro dad because parent I parent the so inside of the child, parent the inner world of the child, not the outer world of the child. And the mm. inner world of the child is their character, their faith, their relationships with you. I love it. Oh my gosh, Meg! I I wish I was like taking notes. I'm gonna like really rewatch this because you're you're brilliant, you're amazing, and the encouragement you bring to a culture today is so refreshing and so, so needed. So thanks for the work you do. If you check out everything Meg does, she has a great book on mothers and sons, fathers and daughters, parenting in general, it's her thing. And so you're just, you're brilliant. You have a new podcast out. I do. Yes, Parenting great kids. I love it. So again, check out everything Meg Meeker because it's just amazing. Thanks for being here. Thanks for So you. appreciate it. And happy Father's, happy Father's Day to all you dads out there. Yeah. Thanks for all the work you guys are doing. You're great and we need you. So thanks, thanks for being great dads. Hey you guys, thanks for watching. Watching this YouTube video, Meg. Thanks for being here. Love Don't it. Love, love it. Oh my gosh. Love do you love YouTube? Do you love the YouTube family? This is I how I feel. This is how I, I feel about YouTube. You're doing because Thank you know, you. I just want to get you out there. Go, 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 go. <sighs> Thank yeah. you. So, way to get me out there, everyone. Go subscribe to my YouTube channel and make sure to check out my book, Love Your Life, Not Theirs. <laughs>